Alrighty. Receiving content. Receiving content. Am I back? Am I going to be able to get back? Am I going to be able to get back into streaming? I right, so will see you in a moment. Get ready. Get ready. Ready. Steady. Come on. Say go. Come on. Say go. You are live now. Go. Woohoo. This is Too Tall here coming in. Ducking on the Twitch bar to bring you another live stream. Sorry about that. My internet was just being really, really, really horrible. But yeah, we're back after that 4th of July break. That's thing I like about YouTube. You can take, you can make your own vacation days. Awesome. Uh, yep, still says bad, but that says good. But that shouldn't be a problem because we will be playing Fault Milestone 2, which is a standstill game, so it shouldn't be bad at all. I've already done my intros and everything. I already played through that music, and um, yeah, I don't want to. So let's just get this started right now. Where is it? No, there it is right there. Fault Milestone 2. Side above. Okay, let's change this to the correct click there. Fault to capture. Probably gonna have to fix that again. Because it likes to put it into the tiny screen and then when I go full screen. Okay. There's that. I'm live. I'm good. Alrighty. That looks good. Looks fine. And I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Why can't I hear anything? Why, 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 why? Oh, it's because it's muted. <laughs> ah, well, that was a loud ping. No wonder why I couldn't hear a thing was muted. Okay. You. Please work. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. We are back with Fault. I've been looking forward to this one. I hope you all have been, too. Now, again, there's a 30-second delay, so it should not be as bad of a buffer. It still says it's green here for uh, stream health. I hope that stays there. This thing says red and orange, which is bad. I'm probably going to have to fix that sooner or later. I'll, oh, there goes the green. But I'm sure I'll fix it. This is a standstill game, so we shouldn't have any problems there. But, um, yeah, we're back. Good to be back. Fault today. Valkyria Chronicles later on today. Then World of Warships. And what, other, what was one of the other ones I was doing? I can't believe it. I just forgot. Oh, yeah, Company of Heroes. And, uh, this war of mine, I think I'm just going to turn into a recording series. I think that's it. But, uh,. Yeah, without further ado, let's just go on in. Load. Um. Alrighty. I'll load this one. Oh, yeah. Stealthy here. So, I remember when we got back. I'm sort of mixed here, uh, because I just. I did do a slight let's pl uh, look at the. Um, fault, uh, Silence of Dependent demo. So, but I, what I believe is we just got off the ship, and, uh, where were we? I can't remember, but, um, yeah. So, we just got off the ship after changing crews with the outer north, in the outer and inner pole. I'm always, I always get that mixed up because the poles, the north pole, south pole, outer pole, inner pole here. Oy vey. But yeah, so we just did that, and, uh, got off the ship. Stealthine's hungry. God damn it, I'm hungry now. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on. <clears throat> Stealthine. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You, you gotta be shitting me. Seriously. It is not offline. Oh my god, there we go. Oh, now you say slow output. Seriously. Settings. Yeah. Okay. Change this up quite a bit. See if that helps. Apply CPU. We'll use that. Yeah, no, we'll use medium. See if that fixes it. Come on. And okay, we're getting 30 frames per second. CPU 16.5. 
Okay, this makes no sense. Why are you... Okay. And whatever. Okay, let's... Let me just do a quick sound test here. Okay, sound test seems fine. Stream seems decent. Let's continue. <clears throat> Still fiend. I'm starving! Indeed. The awkward atmosphere aboard the ship only served to add to our fatigue. Though we put up quite the brave front, our bodies had really taken a beating. We may have pushed ourselves a little too far. Hmm? What's wrong, Rune? A new city. A new country. Look, Selly, Ratona. It's a whole new world. Right before our very eyes. Someone's happy. Ah, that's right. Her whole life she lived in the city of Kadia. It's only natural that she that she's this moved. Oh. Looks like it the thing is just... Oh wow, the stream is not helpful at all. Oh my lord. Okay, well, it looks like it's better. I hope so. What a beautiful port city. Amazing. Sure is lively, even at this time of night. The sun has already set quite some time ago. Yet there are still people flowering in and out. Flowing in and out. Ugh. There even seems to be some street performers in the crowd. Selfine, Rune, take care not to stray, to stray and get lost. This time we need to get some sediment stones and open a calm craft line with Selfine. I'd like to have some form of communication with Rune if she ever gets lost, though. She can't use mana, though, so I guess we can't do anything about that. Ah, if that's what you're worried about. My brother gave me this. Rune brings out a dark, shiny, rectangular box. Hey, it's a Sam song. <laughs> it's a, the phone. Ah, that's the same device Rudu gave me as we were leaving Kadia. You had one too, Rune? Just like yours, Ratona. Could you take it out? Huh? Sure. Now that I think about it, I never asked. I never got to ask Rudu. How to use these things. Okay, so hold down this button and... Uh, testing, testing. Oh, they're walkie-talkies. Look like a phone. Oh. oh. Whoa! It sounds like Rune's voice just emitted from the box I was holding. Wait. That was actually... That actually was Rune's voice. Looks like it's working just fine. What in the world is this? How is your voice coming out of this box? Hearing a box almost talk like this is rather unnerving. This is a product of the Vite Enterprise latest technology, the transceiver. Transceiver. Ugh. Not transceiver. Not no no no. Uh, blah 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 blah. I can talk. Hmm. Why? Okay, this is actually very annoying for me because for some reason the stream. Hmm. Why are you doing this? Output seems fine. Uh, please wait one. Okay. Let's see. See if that helps just a wee bit. Lower the quality, and that seems to help a bit. 
Okay, staying in the green. Oh, no, there goes the yellow. Oh, no, orange. Light green. Okay, well, that seemed to help a bit. I lowered the quality, so that should help a lot. So, sorry if there's quote-unquote bad quality. Anyways, let's uh, continue. These transceivers are co connected by a special mana line developed by the company. If we get separated, we can use these portable head handsets to communicate with each other over a short distance. Yeah, okay, that seems to be a lot better with the stream. Cause I'm getting con I'm getting all green on the board here now, so that should be a lot more useful. So sorry about toning down the uh, what you call it the the uh, graphics, but I had to if I wanted this to run normally. So. Be advised, further streams might be running at a bit of a lower graphic. Amazing! So this is thanks to science. Science is amazing! These portable handsets won't have the same range as you would using regular Comcraft though. Handsets. Does that mean there are larger versions of these? Yes, the Master Transceiver device is in Zvite Headquarters. It's about the size of the entire Lab 9. Good God, that thing is huge. With that one, there is a slight lag in transmission, but it can, but it can send a message from one end of the country to the other. Or so I hear. So you hear? Yes, I was exiled, so to speak. Partly in order for me to test this, test its real world, uh, real world range. God, I can speak. They won't know just how far it can really transmit until we try it out. Just take a drink of my Mountain Dew here. I'll make contact with Rudu later too. Just imagine when these devices become commonplace. It'll be a sight to see. Yeah, I have my iPhone right here. What the heck? Netflix suggestion. 13 reasons why. Why what? I kind of want to know now. <laughs> I'm not certain whether there will be a demand for these in the Interpol, but long-range communication without Comcraft? I'm sure the second people get phones, they're going with Well, 13 reasons why. After a teenage... Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't really need that stuff. Why would I watch that? I don't even watch Netflix anymore. Selfine? What, what's wrong? Selfine, Selfine's face looks completely devoid of life. I'm guessing she's hungry. Oh right, she's been quiet ever since we got off the ship. Are, are you alright? Rit. Eh? I'm so- I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I am so hungry! <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <laughs> she must have used the last of her energy to shout like that. <laughs> How'd I know? How did I know? S Sally, are you okay? It's no use. Looks like we have to find a meal before anything else. Seems so. <laughs> <laughs> that face. <laughs> I am also quite Og Vegans Simis. Og I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that one. Hmm? The arrow Aeronautum is tuning isn't working. Ah, right. They don't speak the same language here as they do in Kadia. Ra, u, Rusis? Child, sorry, but we, um, this is a problem. Carrying on a conversation like this while still things out cold will be tough. Sorry, um, we don't understand your language here. Ah, cord Cordian, me understand a little. Oh, well now, it's a little broken, but is Tuning was able to pick up the words out. Can you speak accordion? Yeah, here, 
Viz Viz Vizcanta, words like accordion. Traitor speak. When kid, I learned some. I feel like I'm reading those wrong. So there are so there are people here who can speak accordion too. If that's the case, I can just make some minor adjustments to the tuning. If we converse a little, then I should be able to synchronize my settings to the language. Are you sure you're not the robot? And she is. My name, Soul. Soul. Word for son. Well, our name son is Soul, I believe. Yeah, the Soul. Yeah. Are you? Merchants? Both? I guide you. Town. What do we do now? So your name is Soul, huh? My name is Rune. Nice to meet you. Rune. Rune. Pretty name. Rune, sorry, but uh, can I take it from here? Eh? Ah, uh, sure. Your main language is... Viscant... Vis... Uh, why do I have a hard time with V's? Viscanton, correct? Could you talk to us in Viscanton? Sim... Sims understand Viscanton? I knew it. I should be able to tune the aeronautum to match the indentations in and accents of this language. And uh, into uh. Why can I not speak internet? Uh. Tune my head to these languages, basically. God. Maybe because of the geographic proximity, there's a lot of similarities between Cordian and Viscantian. Ah, this is a problem, Ritona. It doesn't look like we're getting through to him. Now, now, relax. Just a little more and I should be able to tune to the proper settings. Tune? Settings? Now that I think about it, how did Ratona and Sally know how to speak Cordian? Uh, <coughs> child. I tweak the speech mannerisms that Selphine taught me when we were in Kadia. Let's try a very simple sentence. We are travelers. Ratona is suddenly speaking a completely different language? We've traveled many countries learning different languages. Wow, miss, so you can speak Vizcantian? Oh, lucky me. I've hit the mark. I, I can't understand Ratona. Oh, yeah, because she can't. Oh, yeah, because she doesn't have the aeronautum. Yeah, I can't understand a thing Ratona is saying. Well, that's the gist of it. Now we'll cut to the chase. What do you want from us? What do I want? Calling out to complete strangers to guide them around town. I'm sure you're expecting some kind of payment in return. Payment? Soul? What is it? What are you doing here at the port all alone at night? Where's your family? Oh. Oh, that went, um... Well, shite kid, that, that, that sucks. They're all dead. Damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. If they weren't, I wouldn't be wandering alone at wandering. Uh, if they weren't, I wouldn't be wandering around alone at night like this. I've been making my living guiding travelers like you around town. This has got to be a scam. I can just smell it. Probably is, but I'm a sucker for this crap, so I probably would follow the scam. What are they talking about? Judging by Ratona's tone of voice, I could wager a guess. Uh, I'm Ratona. Could you interpret a little for me here? I've been, uh, I've been making my living guiding travels like you around town. Oh. What was I? Selfie just came to. This timing could not have been any worse. Oh boy, she yeah, she's probably really, really gullible. Rune doesn't understand a thing. She knows what's going on because she has a clear head. If I were here, I would be really, 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 really gullible. For other reasons. Oh, hello there. Ratona, Rune, could you introduce me to our little friend? Cordian. My name's Sol. Miss Very Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so your name is Sol, huh? Thank you. At least let me make it easier for you. It'll be much more comfortable for you to speak like this, right? She tuned her aeronautum in an instant. Stunning logistics, the linguistic skills are as always. Wow, miss. 
You can speak yeah, Miss Can too? God now Sally's doing it too. I guess this is also a kind of mana craft. Uh, um, so what is he saying? It seems he's making a living by guiding people around town. Eh? Wh what do you mean makes a living? He doesn't have a family or a rel uh, or relative to take care of him. You mean he he's an orphan? All alone? Th that's terrible. Is this tr is that true, Soul? Yeah. But there's a lot of people coming. But there's a lot of people that come to this port, so I'm so I'm scraping by. Sorry if I've bothered you. Around this time is when the last ships of the day come in. If I don't hurry, I won't have any more work up for today. Don't ah, uh, please can we get Soul to show us around? Please! We should, Ratona. I'm kind of lost here, but look at his face. Look how sad he is. We've got to help him out here. This, that, uh, is that all it takes to fool the two of you? Actually, now that I think about it. If he was homeless. Let's take a look at his clothes. Hang on. Ah. Ah. Come on. If he were, he looks extremely well dressed for someone who, quote unquote, is homeless. And I don't think, yeah, I mean, I would have brought up my parents being dead. I make a living. I would have said, I would make it saying that um, it's a hobby. I do this for to earn extra money to help my parents. Because the one thing I don't like talking about is like if let's say if I lost a parent, I don't I would ne I don't like talking about family like that because I've lost my grandparents and I every time someone asks I never talk about that anyways. So from my experience, at first I'd be gullible, but then eventually I would come around with my head going, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's continue. Okay, so we were here. Wait, we gotta help him out? Yeah. Is this all it takes for full the two of you? Ratona! Ratona, please! And of course, if I say no, I'm going to end up the villain. This is clearly way too fishy. And we're near a port. I'm gonna assume that's not a pun. Fine. No point in arguing. I'll be the bad guy here. Alone. No family or relatives, scraping by as a guide. Alright, I'll bite. Child, no. Soul, was it? We'll have you guide us around, then. As much? How much do you want from us? He gives me a number, but I don't know just how much that's worth. Rune says it'll be this much. How much would that be worth in Galoons? I whisper quietly to Rune so that Soul doesn't hear me. Hmm. Not sure what the prices of comedies are here are. But in Kadia, that's enough for a square meal for one person. He isn't asking for much then. Maybe not. Maybe he is. But I'm siding with Ratona on this one. Because one, she makes sense. Two, other reasons. Three, look at the kid. He doesn't look that homeless. Well, then again, now that I... Hmm. Now that I take a closer look... Hmm. God darn it, I'm probably gonna be a... whatever. Even more suspicious. <laughs> exactly! Miss, you're kind of me! <laughs> this is the first time anyone has ever treated me like this in my entire life. Well, she is a royal guardian, so her job is to be slightly paranoid for the safety of the princess. Slightly being paranoid is actually Sometimes a good thing. When you play Silent Hunter, it's good to be paranoid of traveling around because you'll never know when that paranoia will come in handy. Saved my backside a couple of times. Sorry, but we're not looking to make any friends. If you are, though, then you better off trying your luck with these two. Hello, any game player. Welcome back. Sorry, we were having some... Inter I was having some internet problems, and I just lowered down the quality to make everything easier. <clears throat> Ratona! Ratona! 
That's just mean. If you're not satisfied with the tour, then you don't have to pay me. Please, trust me. I'm not a bad person. Trust is something earned, not given. Damn, Ratona, you code. If you really have no bad intentions, then why don't you prove it to me? I'll be keeping watch. If you don't want to mi if you don't want to mind me, then so be it. Jeez, Ratona. Ratona, I can tell from your tone of voice that you're being mean to him. You never treat me like this when we first met. Oh, yes, I did, Rune. I certainly did. That is true. Before anything else, Safine, Rune, please hand me all the money you have on hand. Eh? All of it? What for? I'll be keeping an eye on our finances while Soul is with us. If you need any money at all, let me know, and I won't tell you. And I won't tell you off for spending on anything. Aww, aww, it's right, Atona. You're so untrusting. After they hand me the money, I make to make a show of placing it in the pouch. Yeah, I make a show of placing it in the pouch hanging off my belt to be sure everyone can see it. Hmm. <laughs> So, let's just ignore that mean lady. Rune and I would be glad to talk to you. Oh! Shoved away by your childhood friend. <laughs> uh, okay. My name is Sophie. And I'm Rune. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? I find Cordian can understand a little. Rune. Pretty name. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you, Soul. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, show us your tone up. Oh, she's just staying there like normal. <laughs> Man, Ratona, lighten up a bit. But it is fishy. This late at night? Yeah. This Gansia. Port Sar Sari? Sari? Mm. According to Seoul, we are in the largest port in Vis Viscantia. Ever since the neighboring country Sirius invested in the area, it has gone through heavily de heavy development for the past 20 years. Travelers and merchants continue to flood in looking for the new and the unique. There weren't there weren't any places here that dealt with mana craft way back then. Though that was before I was born. For a bustling port town to not have any mana craft facilities, I find that very, very hard to believe. Hmm? Selfine, are you alright? Food. <laughs> this isn't going to work. If you're hungry, though, the great place on Third Street is a restaurant that serves seafood right by the ocean side. They cook up, they cook up all kinds of seafood caught fresh that day. It's really good. Ratona, you heard him. Seafood! Seafood! Aren't you going to ignore that mean lady? <laughs> I never think I'd laugh so hard at this one. <laughs> Rune, you heard him. Seafood. Seafood. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Being so close to the sea, I'm sure the catch will be nice and fresh. So, could you show us the way? Leave it to me. Oh, are you feeling hungry, Soul? Ah, what is she saying? She's asking if you're hungry. Um... I'm not sure when I'll I'm not sure when I'll start up Xenonauts again. I might start up like um I'm not sure when, but I will be starting to back up since I w I'm almost in the mood to play Xenonauts. That's one of those games where you have to be sort of in the mood to play it. But um soon, most likely soon. Because I do enjoy Xenonauts a lot and I really want to get back into it because I find it interesting because I'm able to aim, name the soldiers after you guys, the, the subscribers, my view, the basically amazing people who keep this going, basically. <clears throat> Anyways. She's asking if you're hungry. Are, are you... You are, aren't you? It's already this late, after all. But, but I... Don't worry about it. Have dinner with us. 
Rune over here wants you to join us too. Isn't that right? Indeed, I do. So we p we'll pay for everything, so don't hold back, alright? You're okay with that too, right, Ratona? Well, I won't stop you. Hm. Well, you heard her, soul. You sure are in high spirits. But on one condition. Eh? A condition? Soul? Putting aside the matter of dinner, do you know anything about the lodging in this area? Lodging? Yeah, sure I do. I'm looking for a nice, safe place here. Location doesn't matter. Any suggestions? Safe. Mm. There's only one place around, although it's kind of expensive. If you're okay with it, then. Hmm. That, de that depends just what expensive is. But I'll figure that out when we get there. Would you like to go there now? No, not yet. I'd like you to come up with two other possible locations as well, if this inn is too expensive for us. But for now, dinner comes first. Surely Selfine is dying. Surely Selfine is dying of hunger by now. No, even I'm at my limit. I don't have much of an appetite, but I can't afford to skip a meal. Here's the thing with me, though: when I have food in the morning, I can't handle the stench of any form of food. I just want to throw up. I can't handle food. I can't handle bacon, eggs, steak, hamburgers, fries, chicken, anything. I can't handle anything in the morning. I will throw up. I can't eat anything in the morning because I will throw up. Maybe a bowl of cereal or maybe some oatmeal. But I can't eat anything that is actually like food food. I can't eat a buffet. I can't eat in the morning. It makes me want to puke my guts out. And right now thinking about it, waking up and eating something makes me want to puke my guts out. But come lunchtime, give me a sandwich and I'll eat. I'll eat that. But come dinner time, I will eat and eat and eat and eat and I just I can't stop I can I just can't stop eating sometimes I mean, I'll eat huge plates in one go it is annoying because I always get I need to gain weight and the best way to gain weight is to eat three course meals but I can't eat in the morning I only snack at, at lunchtime and at dinner when I have huge 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 like basically full-size steaks and peas and mashed potatoes and, and all this stuff I just can't eat in the morning or at lunch I, I snack I don't eat I don't eat 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 only at dinner and it's really annoying because I'm trying to gain weight because I am so severely underweight that I can't I can't get away with my metabolism my metabolism is so damn good if I even if I do gain weight it goes away the very next day and I'll actually go taller and it's annoying there's a reason why my channel's name is too tall. <laughs> Anyways, that all aside, let's continue. Well, we'll f we'll foot the bill. So eat and drink as much as you like. She still looks pissed. She always does look pissed. But again, she is the, again she is a guardian of the princess, the step down of Rosenheit. So she kinda has to have that look of screw us up. Eh. Screw with us and you're dead. She has to have that look. And she has that look. <laughs> oh, I want it. I want it. I want to play Ink Evolve so much. It is so good. I, l I watch people play that, mainly Metal Canyon. And I really want that game because there's just something about destroying the world. That I really want. Okay. What's wrong, Ratona? You don't look so well. Maybe you should have a rest for now. <sighs> no, I'm... I'm fine. I just need a good night's sleep. Today's been nothing but ups and downs. Ratona? Anyway, let's go and have dinner. We definitely need some nourishment. It takes us a little over 10 minutes to walk from the port to the area, uh, from the port area to an area by the beach. So it points us towards the direction of a dark alley. Just over there. Hmm. 
dark alley, you say? Someone get, get me Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! <laughs> a dark alley, you say? Hmm. My sixth sense here is tingling. Dark alley. Someone points me to a dark alley, I'll go if there's another way or another restaurant, because if it's any way toward the dark alley, in a new place like this, no. Now, here in Omaha, if someone said it's probably it's back there, I wouldn't hesitate to go back there because I know Omaha. People here are very nice. I have yet to meet one complete douchebag other than kids at my school, but then again, at school there's always those complete douchebags. I mean, that's life. But rarely have I met a completely... I've met, like, of course there are some few, but I rarely meet them. But let's say I go to New York and someone points me to a dark alley. It's like, back, it's back there in that alley there. To go back there and then take a left, I'll go. No, thank you. Thank you for showing us the way, though. Yeah, no. Be careful. It's pretty dark. It's in this back alley? The restaurant looks to be nothing more than a small concrete building. Ratona, you might want to get ready for your battlecraft. An old this this bled this this place abandoned one that is at that. Hmm. Well, we do have a royal guarding with us, so it should we should be a okay. But this is why people in America, I would, I would love to get myself a concealed carry permit. Of course, I'm not even of legal age to. Just go on in, you won't be eating inside here anyways. There are restaurants that look run down, but once you get inside, they are beautiful. Don't do that! No! No! Why? Oh, why would you ask that question? <sighs> There's a 30 second delay, just letting you guys know. I... Oh, I, I, I have to say Oreos because I've eaten Oreos since, since I could first chew. I was eating Oreos and up. So it have to say Oreos. Omaha police ID victims in week in Wednesday fatal van crash. One was a teen. Well, crap. This is why I don't like driving either. There's so many idiots on the road. I mean, you could be paying attention perfectly, then you got some drunk idiot going, <laughs> boom, crashing. Either he's dead or you're dead, and it's just nothing but trouble. This is why I hate driving. But it's also quite fun. I used to be freaking terrified of driving. But in order to get me driving, my mom made us do a Chinese fire drill, which is where everyone gets out of the car, runs around, changes seats, and then gets back in the car, and tries to beat the freaking stoplight. That's how my mother first got me into that damn driver's seat. And she's a crazy mother. She's awesome. Love her to death. She's great. Very supportive. But crazy all the hell. Right? That's where I'm from. Why do you think I'm so crazy in this? Where do you think I get all my energy, my craziness, my ability to, to like that? That's from me mother's side. My arrogant side, my smart Alex side, and that's my father side. But intelligence comes with me too. Both of them have their perks, both of them have their disadvantages. Talking back would be my mother's side. Anyways, let's continue. This is just the entrance. Pass through and you'll get to the bench on the other side. We'll do as he says and step in we do as he says and step inside the shop. Oh, there is a clerk. Welcome! Upon entering the shop, first thing I see is a large mana signature. On the other end of a calm craft line. It's set up so that releasing it allows information about the shop and its menu to flow into one's mind. Okay, so it seems normal. Well, nothing out of the ordinary. I release it. What the? It seems the establishment specialties in fishermen stew, which the customers cook themselves. 
Rather than paying for individual dishes, the customers pay a flat fee and they can eat as much as they want. Oh, so it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Nope. <clears throat> Give me a second, I gotta clear my throat. Alrighty, my throat is now better. Let me take a drink of my Mountain Dew. And let's get back to, re to stuffing. <clears throat> I, 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 I can't wait! <laughs> huh? Can we just go straight in? Oh, that's right. Alright, you can't use Comcraft, can you, Rune? Sorry about that. Wait, what? Were you and Sally using it just now? Yes, we used that mana signature over there. If you release it, information on the shop and its food flows into your mind. Eh? So does that mean if you can't use mana craft, then you can't order any food? In this restaurant, you just place the seafood in one of the stew pots by the bench. Simple enough. Wow, that sounds really fun. Yes, doesn't it? Between Katya's Tavern and the Seaside Stew Restaurant, people sure prefer their meals lively. Come on, let's go! The shop's just giving us the go-ahead! Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's cool! Now that is cool. You go in there, you pay, you come out, and you eat on the beach. That is cool. That is really, really, really cool. I mean, the best view I've ever had was I ate at this one restaurant. I have Minecraft. I just got to download it. I have everything in Minecraft. I just got to download it, but I haven't played Minecraft in so long. I just haven't played I just haven't played Minecraft in so long. Good lord. Uh, amazing. Uh Col Colordian by the beach. Exactly as they said it would be. Countless Cauldrons! 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 My god, how the hell do I not notice cauldrons? God darn it, I'm looking at these I'm thinking Oh, maybe this is a big word I can understand to try. It's just freaking cauldrons. What the hell? Seriously. This is, this is what happens. My mind takes things and I try and pick apart every little thing when sometimes it's just a normal word. Like, we're or scattered and all over the beach. And cauldrons. I thought it was calder, calderons? No, it's just freaking cauldrons. Good God. <sighs> Anyways, let's continue. Customers were gathered around the pots, cooking the seafood inside, and eating at their own leisure. The sand... is glowing. Are, are we going to eat just like this? So it's not white sand, but it's probably like they have... Well, no, how, how would they do that? I mean, here I can see lights. I mean, when I went to Ocean City, there were actually jellyfish inside the sand at night, so you would have to be careful when you'd walk. I almost stepped on one. Freaking terrifying, I tell you. It was terrifying when I, when I almost stepped on the jellyfish. Looks like it. Over there, by the shore, or shoal, is full of cages. Fish, full of fish cages. The fishermen, the, the fish that the fishermen just caught are kept fresh and live with aquacraft. Dragon. Drag fawn! It's a drag fawn! I'll have a drag fawn! No, I'll have a dragon. I'd rather take a dragon because a dragon can fly! And spit fire. They take, they'll take care of the butchering the fish too. What, what should we get first? I have no idea where to start. Ratona, are you familiar with seafood? No. Ah! No, no, why the hell did, did you hear that? I'm like, no. No, no. Why would I, why did I say no? Ugh. Voice, work. Don't change on pitch. I mean, I can change the pitch on my own way. But that was weird. I'm sorry, I will never do that again. I am truly sorry, I will never do that again. <clears throat> no, not really. Ah, I see. Perhaps you don't like seafood? I wouldn't say that. 
I, but I don't particularly enjoy it either. Seafood, salmon is amazing. Crab, oh, the best crab is Maryland blue crab. If you had not had Maryland blue crab, you don't know crab. Because Maryland blue crab is best crab. Oh, it's so good. Rosenhide is landlocked, so there aren't many chances for me to eat it. I love it! I love all kinds of seafood. Selfie, is there anything you don't like? You've never been a picky eater, have you? Oh, I used to be the pickiest of eaters. That's because my father would scold me whenever I got choosy with my food. He said that food is a reflective of the way of life for different religions. It's also related to politics. Well, you are a princess after all. Ah, uh, yes. You particularly like eating the trans traditional sliced raw fish of Lissa crack. <laughs> raw fish? Who the hell likes raw fish? Ugh. I gotta take a drink of my Mountain Dew to get the. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I shudder to imagine. <laughs> like the traditional sliced raw fish of Listocrat. Don't you, Sophie? This vilt. vilt. eh. vitzier. Yeah, I love it. Eh? Eating fish raw? Like completely uncooked? Completely raw as is. I just can't stomach that stuff. Ugh. Oh my god, Selfine, you are weird. Anyone who eats raw fish, no offense, you're weird. I mean, I admire your gut, because you got to have a, stum a stomach of iron. There are some types. Poison, fire, lightning, ice, earth, plas plasma, plasma, no, wait, ooh, ooh, tricky, 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 plasma or water, plasma or water. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Plasma because it sounds cooler. <laughs> Ugh. It's not completely raw. They're coated in vinegars, spices, or oil first. It requires it requires special knife skills to prepare too. Hey everyone! I'm going to go get some fish now. Could someone help me carry it all? You need help? I'll be glad to go with you then. Are, are you sure what about our communication? It'll be fine. It's just over there anyways. I can make some gestures and I'll work out so it'll work out somehow. Natona, you look really tired. So just rest for now. Okay. Are you sure you'll be okay, Rune? Don't worry. It won't take long, so just rest up for now. Now that it's settled, let's go, Soul. Eh, my jaw. Excuse me. Soul leaves Rune to the fish cage. Yay! Dinner time! Dinner time! Just wait there, Ratona. I'll get all the utensils set up. N no, no, I can't make you do all the work. Yes, you can. That's an order! Ratona, you've been keeping an eye out for us all day. Your exhaustion is as clear as day. You can at least take eat. Eh, you can at least take it easy during the meal, right? Selfing gaze is downcast. Understood. Uh oh. Her um. I like to know when I die so that the day or hour before I die, I can do the dumbest of shit ever. That. when I die, because that means I know how much time I have and what dumb shit I can do before I die, because at that point I go, hmm, the day before I die? Fuck it! Yeehaw! And just like, I don't know, when you know you can die, maybe you can choose how you die, and you can do, die in like the most awesome way ever. Like, let's see. Why am I thinking about this? The uh, most awesome way to die. What would be the most awesome way to die? Hmm. You know what? I don't know, but I would rather know when I'm dying so I can plan out my life and do fun shit, stuff I want, and dumb shit. Her tone of voice may be cheerful, but her eyes clearly show her concern. 
best for me to do as she says. Yeah, as royal guardians, the princess orders you. You kind of have to listen. I'll take you up on that then. G good. You'll have. You sure? Yeah. You sure have gotten a lot more knowledgeable about cooking, Celine. <laughs> Misha taught me a whole lot of things. Did he now? When did that happen? I didn't know he was knowledgeable about Volistocrat cuisine. Oh right, you didn't know, did you, Ratona? Mill told me that she that she was seriously considering having Misha succeed her as the head chef. I I really want to call her Ratona. Ratina. Wait, Ratona. Did I say Ratina? Or Ratona? Which one did I say? Rit God darn it, I just confused myself. But I really want to call her Retina, or... But it's Retona. T-O-N-A. T Tona. Retona. But I secretly want to call her Retina. I don't know why. Eh? Really? Mill plan. The head chef of Castle Rosenheim's Grand Kitchen. A great chef representing Rosenheim's cuisine... And one of the responsible for elevating the culinary practice of the level of art. What? Okay. And that's why she's going to cram everything about the cuisines of all other nations of the Alliance into Misha. She said. Whoa. Bing Mill's apprentice sounds really tough. It sure is. She made me she... Mishia do some pretty crazy things the moment he stepped into the grand kitchen. She handed him some salt and pepper and threw him into the mountains. Come back once you made the dish befitting of the king's valor. She, uh, come back once you made a dish befitting of king valor. She told him. Sounds like an actual purpose of the test was to experience the natural boundaries of Rosenheide firsthand. He didn't come back for a month. <laughs> when he finally returned, I couldn't even recognize him. But it's not like she makes everyone go through that test. It's only for those who had the aptitude for cooking, Mill said. In fact, Misha passed his very first attempt. I'm surprised he followed through on her instructions with that delinquent streak of his. That old Misha would have just turned tail and run. <laughs> maybe. Ouch. But Misha really came a long way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yada, yada, there we go. Okay. Looks, he looks perfectly comfortable in the kitchen, and he's really matured. Ow! Oh, ow, 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 ow! Ow, that hurt. Is that so? His cooking is definitely good, but something seems to be missing. Eh? Now, what kind of question is that, any gamer? What kind of question is that? Obviously, steal from the poor and give to the rich. <laughs> I'm kidding. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. I'll be the new Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Good movie. Highly recommend watching it. Eh? No way! Maybe you're just confusing his own style of cooking with sloppiness. I mean, it was only recently that he learned the proper cul eh. culinary eh. Eh, culinary techniques. I think that's how you pronounce that word. I'm not sure. That makes sense. I never even considered it from that point of view. I want to jump to conclusions. We have, we've known each other since our time in the clocks. Close something. Basically, it's close quarters combat. That's what that is. So I might have just... I think it was. was Encyclopedia. Miscellaneous. Yeah, clocks. Close quarter crafting and strength... Eh, strength... Eh, prestige. Close quarter combat academy. Are you kidding me? When I'm in close quarter combat, I don't think of magic or craft. I think of a 12-gauge shotgun. <laughs> that works just fine. Also, you gotta be careful when you shoot out because of tunnel vision. I've got the tunnel vision once. You don't know what the hell is going on around you. What the hell? I just heard another voice. Give me a second. 
Okay, that 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 that's good. Yeah, check resolution. What was that? I just heard a voice. God, God damn it! The voices in my head playing tricks on me again. Anyways, since our time in the clock, so I might have been pre prejudiced. I wonder how things are going for them now. Right now, I'm, if I remember correctly, they are looking for both your guys' backside. And at the moment, you guys are on completely other side of the world from them. I don't know you thinking about it. Let's just concentrate on trying the food out for now. Eh? Trying out the food? Ow. Rit wow. Ritona, this broth is really, really good. Um, I'll take not seeing the moon. Anyways, having been drawn to the co co contents already in the pot, Sophie gladly took a sip. Is that some kind of soup? The stock, the it's stock, the base for all sorts of soups. Sophie, that's bad manners. A princess like you should know better than to drink soup straight out of the pot. Want to taste it? Please ladle some into your bowl. Mmm, it smells wonderful. What sock is this? I wonder. She's not even listening, is she? I feel bad for Atona in this situation, but I know exactly how she feels because this is that is me in public events. Seriously, that is seriously me in public events. Even when my family goes out for dinner. Ouch. It's familiar. Didn't we have soup like this before? It had something to do with fermented soybeans. That sounds nasty, but I do like a good soup. What country was that from again? Just imagine when the fish gets here. <laughs> so Fing gazes into the distance, smiling, lost in her own happy thoughts. <laughs> her face. Look at her face. <laughs> Hey, Ritona's actually smiling. I mean, you've seen her smile before, but she rarely smiles. She has a... gluttonous streak. Sally! Ritona! <clears throat> oh? Room calls out from... out to us as she hurried back. Look! At all! This fish! Looks like they had one of their biggest catches. <clears throat> it looks like they had one of their one of their biggest catches in quite a long, quite some time. What? They have more than they know what to do with, so they told us to eat up. That huge net room was carrying was going was filled to the was filled to bursting with all sorts of seafood. Wow! Show his net. I want to see how much. There's so much. Can we even finish all this? They gave us a whole lot of rice wine to cook the fish with, too. Let's get to cooking! Dinner! Yay! Hey, why don't you three go ahead and start eating? Eh? Soul, aren't you going to eat? I will, I will. I'll be right back, so just start without me. Ah, Soul? Huh? Is Soul going somewhere? I think so. He said he'd be right back right away, though. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> this is way too good. Oh, that actually does look good. Yes, it really calms you down. Rune's happy with her eyes. Selfine is too busy enjoying it, and Ratona is just again smiling and looking, and probably is possibly quite happy that she now has the chance to relax. Yes, it really calms you down. Thankfully, the flavors aren't too strong. Actually, the flavors are much mellower than I expected. I could eat this even on an upset stomach. 
It's nice and warm. I've never had a feast like this before. It just reminds me of something I've always wanted to ask. Oops. Rune, I've been wondering. Yes? Yeah. Swallow... Oh, so that was actually good. That was actually correct form of it. Wait, what? <laughs> Am I reading that correctly? Delicious food... Is that the word I think it is? Because if so, that'd be nothing. That would be nothing. I don't bathe, bathe in food. Bathe in food, whatever. I really hope that's not what it's... I hope you misspelled that or something. But the most delicious food I had... Oh, that's a tricky one. Um... What was it? 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 It was, it was something my dad made. Uh, I guess it was the first time I had salmon. That was probably the best I ever had. What the heck? Hmm, stuff I spilled on my desk. I'll have to clean it up later. Swallow your food before talking. I'm <coughs> sorry about that. Well, shoo. Sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Anyways, what is it? You're eating right now, yes? Yes, I suppose I am. Well... I'm not sure how to put this, so I'll be blunt. Why do you even eat? What? That's a good question. Most delicious food I had in my entire life. Um. I guess it would have to be the same. Yeah, it would have to be the salmon my uh, dad cooked for me one time. That's how, I, that's how I got into salmon. My dad made it for me. It was one of the best salmon I've ever had. It was so good. Ah, I get what you mean. By lot, eh, by lot, eh, by lot, by lot. I can speak. Biology, eh. Biology. Seriously, why can I say biology? Biology speaking. Biologically, bi uh, biologically speaking, your body isn't alive, is it? So then, why do you need to eat? God, it took me forever to say biology. Bi uh. Ah, I see. Right, my body technically wouldn't be considered alive. Still, I need some form of fuel, like living being. That's why I eat. The food I take is converted into mana by my body. Wh what? Your body can do that? Eh? Wait, but then that doesn't make sense. That means you can convert matter, like food, into mana, right? Yes, that's right. If it, if that's possible, then how is it that the outer pole is still lacking in mana? Rather than harvesting it from dangerous places, dangerous places like the mines or the border of the inner pole. Couldn't you just generate your own? Actually, Zvite is doing that, but only on a small scale. Ratuna, do you still remember what we talked about in the sediment shop the other day? Ah, that's right. The problem is storage. Exactly. And the outer pole, mana, needs to be processed by machines before it can be used. So it has to be stored in sediment. And not only that, but, co but committing the mana is also highly ineffective. The entire process takes far too much effort. And if we don't store it right, then it's just a huge waste of resources and effort. So you need to be cons so you need to use the converted mana as fast as possible. There's also a limit to amount of energy you can s you can safely supply to the towns and such. I get it. So it's not just a problem of generating that mana. What a conundrum. That's right. <clears throat> That's pretty much the reason I can't really store any energy any energy. And that's why I have to eat. Otherwise, I'll stop moving. S stop moving? D do you mean you'll die? Hmm? Uh, I'll be a king ant. <laughs> if no one else is able to reawaken me, then I suppose that would be considered death for me. Ah, <laughs> don't worry. 
I can go maybe three or four days without food before I start to deactivate. Like, yes, it also depends on how hard I push myself. <laughs> how exactly do we reawaken you? We'd like to know just in case something happens. The truth is, I don't know how myself. You don't know? That's absurd. I, I don't understand. Why was I given full access privilege over my own body functions? There's barely any information on how I was built or how I function included in my knowledge base either. What was Sid thinking? He wanted you, Rune, to be as humanly as possible. It'd be... Ah, karma potatoes! Good to see you! I am doing good. I am doing good. I am... Again, back to live streaming. If the first... On the fifth, I was just having problems trying to sleep, so I sit up till like... Five, and then I went to sleep, so I slept a day away until my live streams. I couldn't do that. Six, I had family and work. Well, by work, I mean mowing mowing the lawn. Not our lawn, someone else's lawn. And I got paid pretty nice for it. And that, now that I got my sleep schedule back around, I'm back to, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm back to doing live streams now, so that's good. Also, Grandma Potato, have you heard from Hydra? Supposedly he's back. I haven't seen him around. I've seen him. I know he's here. I just haven't seen his live streams at all. Did he cancel his June 5th live stream? Anyways, while that takes some time because of the 30 second delay to reach you guys, I will continue reading. It'd be much better if you... it would be much better for you to be able to fully manipulate your inner workings in case that something went wrong. Really? Um, no. I plan on playing Valkyria Chronicles tonight and World of Warships tomorrow. Eh? I have to agree with you on that one, Ratona. What makes you say that? We, as humans, can't consciously stop our hearts or turn off our sense of touch when we experience pain, right? Well, no, we can't, but... Oh, yes, 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 yes! Hail Hydra! <laughs> we gotta... Yes, come on, guys! Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! He says he's going. We go. We go to play tonight. All right. I guess I can change. I can change to World of Warships. Wait, if you guys say, come on, Hail Hydra! <laughs> but um, I was just about to say something, but I completely forgot. Oh yeah, speaking on the feeling of pain, I've cut my toe completely open, like it was hanging on by a thread, I've cut my hand open, I've broken bones, and I've, I've basically got cuts up and, and bruises and scraped and I broke, it's like, I've sprained, broke, yada yada, you name it, well not you name it, but it had tons of happen to me. But the worst feeling ever is when you stub your freaking toe on a corner! That is the worst thing ever! It hurts more than breaking a damn bone. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, it doesn't hurt more than breaking a bone. That that sh that hurt a lot. I that actually I was actually bedridden for two days because of that freaking bone. It was a growth plate too. But stubbing your toe hurts so freaking much. I hate it, and I got such long toes. There are times where when I hit a wall, I just go down. Screen. It's it hurts. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, but it's the most painful thing in the world, and it is so annoying. No matter how many times you stub your goddamn toe on your goddamn door, it doesn't get any better! Every single damn day! If you haven't caught it just by it, I stub my toe a lot, and it's annoying! Anyways, <laughs> let's continue. As beings that feel emotion, I think it's normal for us to run away from suffering. We might, not, we might end up hurting ourselves without realizing it. Most importantly, we shouldn't be able to consciously alter our body's functions. That is best left to our own... Gumption? What? Anyway, I think it's best for us to retain human beings. For us to remain as human beings. Just give me one second, doing a quick sound check. Okay, sound check all good. 
But I wouldn't that train of thought only but wouldn't that train of thought only apply to humans? To put it another way, is that is eh, that is a limitation that we humans must endure, right? Are you not calling Rune hu well technically by scientific standards she is not human. But by moral standards she's goddamn human. She's a freaking human being by moral standards. If she's not biologically she obviously doesn't have a soul, but she, by god dang, she's a human being to me. I mean, look at her! Look at Rune! Look at her! Just what about her screams, I am a robot? I mean, look at her eyes! Her eyes, you can actually see the quote-unquote camera lenses, but just look at her! Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger is freaking awesome! Freddy Krueger is the best monster ever! I saw the original Nightmare on Elm Street that was scary as hell, but so damn awesome! Freddy Krueger is the best, hands down! You say otherwise, I hope Freddy comes says hi to you in your dreams! Freddy is so awesome! By the way, I was in grade school when I watched the, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I didn't sleep for weeks. Maybe others would view it as not a limitation, but something else. The way I see it, being able to se to sever emotions and pain as the situation seems fit isn't what I would call human. If Sid in a line had wished for Rune to live as a normal human, then placing that limitation on her would only be natural. Sally. Ah, uh, Sally. I see your point. Sally truly has put a lot of thought into this. Hmm? Wait a minute. Rune. Does that mean you can't get drunk? <laughs> Ratona and Rune, you bet have a drinking contest. Drinking contest. Drinking contest. Because according to Selfine, Ratona here can outdrink any man. I wonder why. Hopefully, fault miles the uh, um, fault sounds dependent explains that. Oh, but hang on, that goes for. It. So how are they going to end the story off with this with fault? Oh, I'm so excited! I love this damn series. I love it a bit. It's so awesome. Ah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess you. I guess I just enjoy the mood. Alcohol does provide quite a lot of energy for me, too. <laughs> Look at Ratona. Ratona's like, wow, but in her mind she's going, I gotta outdrink her, I gotta outdrink her, I gotta outdrink her. Fun fact on um, special occasions like Rosh Hashanah or Passover, if I have like a small sip or glass of wine, I get tired as hell. I can't even keep my eyelids open. Are you equipped with a sense of taste? Actually, I'm not. I can't tell whether something tastes good or not. Oh, that must suck. Oh, but I'm able to determine whether or not something is, has high nutritional values? Is that so? Now, don't, don't make that face. I'm totally fine. Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean to. Let's just enjoy the rest of our dinner. Let's. Rune, rune. Try this- oh, Rune Rune. Rune Rune, try this one too. It tastes fantastic. Mmm, it's jam-packed with nutrients. <laughs> That's right. No need to think about this too deeply. Hang on a second. Where'd Soul go? We should just enjoy our dinner together. Mmm. Yeah, they're still with their eyes. My body is flush. Ugh, my head. So... Dizzy. Phew. Hey! Mm, why is she so dizzy? Hey, sorry I ran off like that. Soul. Soul, where'd you go? You haven't eaten yet, right? There's still lots to go around. Actually, I already had a quick bite. Something urgent came up. What? He ate somewhere else before coming back? What for? Why wouldn't he join us for dinner? 
Is it because I've been treating him coldly? Would I rather own an actual gun from Halo, and I meant it shoots bullets from Halo, or actual laser that shoot hot brain? Oh! <laughs> Where do you find these questions, any game gamer? Where do you find them? These are good questions. Um. I'll take Halo because Halo has that awesome sniper rifle. I'll take I'll take Halo. Is it because I've been treating him so coldly? Soul, aren't you going to eat? He said he already ate. Eh? Really? I'm looking forward to eating together too. I'm really sorry, but it was emergency. Well, that's fine. We're not forcing you to eat with us. If you want to leave, then feel free to do so at any time you need to. Yeah. Atona, you're being mean again! Anyway, we should probably get going. It's already pretty late. Following Soul's lead, it takes us about 15 minutes to get from the restaurant to the coast. I wanted to say closet. I don't know why. Restaurant to the cloak. There I go again. From the restaurant to the coast. Coast, 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 to coast, coast, to coast. R Ratona, Rune, look. What is that? Selfine stops in her tracks. Hmm. What is it? I turn my gaze to where Selfine is looking. Wh what? Huh? <clears throat> Oh man, my voice went high there. Soul, J just what in the world is that? Something far below the surface of the ocean was emitting a faint glow. At first glance, it looks like a school of jellyfish emitting light. I, I, I can't see all the way down because of the waves. What could it be? That's Neo Cherokee. All the rich and powerful people live there. Now that's cool. Okay, any game player? Two things. One, Black Ops 3 sucks. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because it goes keep keep going into the future. Two, the Halo armor is freaking awesome. I will take the Halo suit of armor. But it weighs a freaking ton, so I probably couldn't use it. They live there? Do you mean that city, there's a city submerged under the sea? Eh? Did you say city? Those lights are from a city? Wait just a minute here. There's a city under the sea and people are living there? P -p -p Preposterous! How could they be living there? This isn't a fairy tale! They're protected by a huge dome of glass. Well, that better be some strong ass glass because last time I checked, glass doesn't do well underwater. Well, actually, it does. It depends on how deep you are. Then again. Yeah, it depends on how deep you are, because if you're, like, under, like, a thousand feet, you can kiss your glass bye-bye. Remember you asked me about the safest place to stay, and I said it is, it'd be cozy? That's where it is, in neo sar sea So, it's safer being underwater? This must be a joke. It must be! Wait, where are we going? Are we heading there now? It looks like it. That's where the inn is, too. Seriously? I couldn't criticize her for reacting that way. Soul. Wait a Oh yeah, never mind. Soul, do you also live there under the water? No. I live up here, on land. For a mole, Soul's expression seems to cloud up. Was it just my imagination? You need a whole lot of money if you want to live in there. Atlantis, because I know more about Atlantis than I do in, uh, whatever that one place is. That's why people from Viscant can't so just, eh, why people from Viscant can't, from Vis, Viscant, duh, can't so just about everyone here live. What? Okay, whatever. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why should the affluent ones be able to go through the trouble of living underwater? Common sense dictates that would be the other way around. That would. 
Um, how do I explain this? Ah, I've got it. Could you all follow me to that pier? I'll show you something really cool. We follow Sol again and arrive at the pier, waves gently splashing about. Now that's cool. That... Selly, Ratona, look! Below us! Underneath the water! Eh? What? Oh. Then of course I'll be ruler of that place then. Oh, Olympus! Olympus! Oh my god. Seriously. Brain! Function! What? What is this? If my eyes adjust to the dark... Whoa, 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 Oh, that's so cool! The water grew... Clearer! As my, eye as my eyes adjust to the darkness, I can more clearly make out... What is in the depth of the ocean. This is... A town, isn't it? No way! No doubt about it! This was the ruins of what once was a city. And judging by the conditions of the buildings, they're fairly recent. They're to be no more than 30 or no, 20 years old. All of this used to be above the sea. There's a special mana stream that flows through this area, and people who live here live really long lives. A mana stream that lets you live longer? Ritona. Could that be the Vista, the Vista stream? Yes, the Vista, Vista stream. It's, it's a type of mana craft, one of many kinds that have been passed down in Rosen Heights stories. Apparently, the flow of time that the stream passes much more slowly than outside of it. I've always thought it was just a myth, but it actually exists. The whole area is completely flooded, just like that. Oh, it is the soul. <clears throat> and the flow of the Vista stream ends up shifting towards the sea. Still, the Syrians made it so they could live under the water, so that they could live long and healthy lives. That Vineo Sanctuary is there, right in the middle of the Vista stream. That's how Viscantia was able to expand a whole lot, because the Zerus, inf Zerus invested in reforms and developed the country. Ceres. Ceres, do you mean the country next to Viscant? Yep. You can't meet some Syrians since they're just ev since just about everyone living in Neo Sanctuary is one. Gee, I wonder what it's like living under the sea. Ah, uh, um. So what are we talking? What are you talking about with Soul? Oh yeah, because she can't understand. This sunken city used to be above water, and a special mana stream called the Vis Stream passes through it. Those who reside in the fifth stream live long lives and rarely get sick. But then, as time passes, the fifth stream slowly changes course, changed the course, and the wealthy constructed a town to live down here so they can make use of the fifth stream health benefits. Ah, I've heard of that mana stream. My father conducted research on it way back when he was building his hospital. How long have we been streaming for? Wow, we still got an hour and a half left. Yay! He was looking into ways to slow the progression of illness. I remember hearing about the Vist stream slowing, slowed. A I remember hearing about how the Vist stream slows. Xenomorph. Vist stream slowed, uh, slowed aging. I've only ever heard about it in the stories. But I guess it's true, huh? Just how do we get in there, though? Actually, how do people even live there? Don't tell me they swim back and forth from the city. Apparently, they're protected by some glass barrier. In any case, seeing it for ourselves will be much faster than listening to an explanation. What the hell? There's a weird bump under my skin. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Walked another 10 minutes from where we were. Okay, I will be right back, guys. I gotta use the head. So just give me a few seconds. Give me like, I don't know, 20 to 15 seconds. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, really can't be sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. I back. Ow, 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 ow. Anyways, we walked another... Hang on, I gotta reset my headset here. Okay, much better. Walked another ten minutes from where we were. I think we found the German soldiers we've been looking for. Well, they look German. Does anyone else see? I'll have Sam and Louis pizza, thank you very much. But those soldiers, they look awfully German. Well, they look German to me, at least. Well, I mean, the, the gray-colored uniforms, that's how they look. Wait a second. They have guns, and Ratona uses a sword. Hmm. Well, I guess she does have magic. But question, why the hell are there armed guards there? I mean, I know you're rich and everything, but seriously? Can I just have, I don't know, two traditional police force? Not soldiers! Wow, you guys are of some uptight bastards. That's for damn sure. Okay, let's continue. What the? Connected to the pier was a large transparent tube that led straight into the sea. Where are their arms? Oh, I see how they have them. Oh, I see how they're doing. They have one arm down, the other arm behind their back, grabbing their other arm. Or... God, it seems like a horrible position to stand on. This is the entrance pier. So, how do we get in? Incredible! The entire tunnel is crystal clear. You can see right through it. Even though people are going in and out of the tunnel, the fish keep approaching it. Perhaps they were attracted to the lights? We need to buy an empty permit from the booth over there. The one with the money. You don't trust me, right? M Did you just say the one with the money? <laughs> Could you s come with me to buy the permits? Alright. That was a deal. He got me there. Good evening, sir, ma'am. I've seen a hair. I, I, hmm. I've seen that character, the, the the eyes and hairstyle and face from an anime. I just can't remember where. Good evening, good evening, sir, ma'am. Oh my, what a cute little customer we have here. Good evening to you. I'm guiding them around town. We'd like four permit. We like four. We uh, we'd like four permits, please. Guiding them around at this time of day. Well, in a sense. I see. Very well. May I know your nationality? Oh. Uh, excuse me? May I know what country you are from? Her sudden question caught me, catches me off guard. My mind totally blanks out. Uh, uh, um, we are, uh... Damn it. Sanger from Rosenhide is out of the question. Uh, we're from... Ugh. I should have thought of something before coming here. These girls are from Ceres. I'm just from around here. I'm Ceres, you say? The Vernon looks at us with some suspicion. Might I ask what part of Ceres? Eh. <laughs> um. Okay, this is what's going on inside in Ratona's mind here. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Let's see, uh, think, 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 think. Uh, thank, 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 uh, mine work! Eh, uh... Bar... Bar... Barbisque... Barbisque? They're coming in as prospectors. I'm the son of a guide. I was instructed to take them to their lodging here. Oh my... Prospectors from Paraguay. You don't say. Thank you for coming here. I must have... You. It must have been a long journey. I'll get the entry permits ready at once. Please give me a moment. I forgot why they can't say Rose and Hyde, but I mean, I'm. You this, you think you'd get into permit by saying, That is the princess of Rose and Hyde. I am the. Then again, I guess you gotta keep it confidential. You would. That would be the easiest way to get in. But, but you can't really go throwing around the name like that. 
That was amazing, Soul. So, just what was that all about? Ratona doesn't look too happy. Shh, she's coming back. What's going on here? Here's the total cost. I pay her the sum without question. Wait, now that I think about it, wasn't that a lot of money I just paid? Okay, here are your permits. Please, present these to the guards inside when asked. We cannot reissue any lost permits, so please take care not to lose them. These permits have a va uh, validity period of seven days. If you need an extension, please come back to this booth. Some contracts for prospects may come with provisions for uh, wavering extension fees. If you have any questions, please return to this booth and we will gladly assist you. I have also arranged for your guide to have a one-use entry permit. This permit has an effective period of 24 hours, so it may be used until this time tomorrow. Welcome to Neo Ceresi. Cer I sincerely hope that you enjoy your stay. Ah, yes. The vendor overly polite tone makes my hair stand on the end. You are very welcome. I managed to do that with my voice. They sure are strict here. Have a wonderful evening. Look dignified. Just follow me and don't say anything. It's, I, it's best I do what he says. Badum, badum. What the heck is going on here? Military police. May I? Thief. <clears throat> no, wait. Hacker. No, wait. Um, thief. I'll take the thief. <clears throat> May I see your permits, please? Here. Show your permits to him. We do as instructed and show our permits to the guard. Hmm. The three of you are quite young to be prospecting. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Okay, everything checks out. Enjoy your stay. Come on, let's go. Soul? An explanation would be HIGHLY APPRECIATED right about now! What were you talking about back there? What do you mean, prospectors? Sorry about that. I just had to lie a little to make things easier for us. A prospector is someone who's looking to live inside Neo Sanctuary. When you're buying an entry permit, if you tell them you're a prospector, they'll treat you like royalty. How ironic, because we are royalty. First exploration entrance fee, and now this kind of treatment? Oops. There's some kind of huge class divide going on here. I've got a bad feeling about this. Why are there guards at the entrance? They look like military police to me. That means they're protecting the city from what's ever outside, right? So, this doesn't add up. Didn't you say the, safe, the place was safe? If it was, why is there a guard station here? They've been around here ever since I was born. Well, don't worry about it. As long as you have an entry permit, no one's going to question you. That's so. Hey, hey! Ratona! Rune! This whole tunnel is glowing, right? Whoa! Scene change! Something asked us while touching the walls of the passage, which appeared to be made of glass. <laughs> uh, he's like, tourist. Ratona's like, come on. And these two are like, whoa. Ratona would be me in this exact situation. I mean, like, are you serious? No, oh boy. Now that you mention it, you can see fish swimming all around us. And it's not just this passage. Walls all around Neo Sanctuary are in ambient with a special mana that emits a flank glow. It's specially, it's specially built it's, uh, it's specially built to replenish and warm the air inside also absorbs a lot of sun rays. That's why living in Neo Sanctuary is a whole lot more comfortable than living outside. Amazing! I wonder just how many mana crafters did they need to make this special wall? No. I'm sure they still, they're still needed. Uh, they're still needed even now. If the glass itself has functions like temperature regulation, then they're still needed. 
Several hundred of them, in fact, to consistently make daily adjustments. That's a whole lot of effort. Maintaining an underwater city environments would maintaining an underwater city's environment would definitely take a lot of manpower, huh? Megalodon, Megalodon, Megalodon. I would want to be the Megalodon in a game gamer. What would I rather be, Megalodon or Mosasaurus? Megalodon. The vet dive employees, several hundred workers, are just to maintain the power grid. By the way, Sol, our cover story is we are Saren, 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 Ser isn't Sarens. Yes. I'm calling them Sarenins. I don't care. I'm calling them Saren, Sarenins. Right? Yep, that's right. You're Sarians from the village of Barbaloski. Barbaloski. Yeah, sounds Russian to me. The only that you've only just recently become a part of Sarids. Sarids still isn't familiar with the culture and traditions of the village, so they probably won't poke around too much. The city doesn't take too kindly to outsiders, so just keep that in mind. Still, you should be able to blend in without too much suspicion, even with those outfits of yours. What? How could he have come up with such an elaborate, well thought out lie in an instant? St what? Oh. No. He. Soul is. used to this. He's gone through this countless times. And now that I think about it, he haven't once pried about our backgrounds. This is a sign of an experienced city guide? Either way, this is no ordinary child. Let's go! Once we make it through here, we'll be inside Neo Cerasi. Hey! Um, what does that remind me of? Ah, what was it? That one, Gungan Village. That's what that reminds me of. Whoa! Astonishing! There's a place like this less than a day's boat right away from Kadia. Unbelievable! Even, even I find myself completely breathless. Were this to exist in reality, astonishing! Say, Ratona, Rune, is it just me, or does this place feel really comfortable? I've been feeling really refreshed ever since we got here. No, I don't think it's just you. My body feels at ease just being here. Yes, the sensation. It's like relaxing early in the afternoon, drinking tea and reading a good book. God darn it, now I really want tea. After this, I'm gonna make myself some damn tea. I want some tea. Oh, tea sounds so good right now. Shit. Ah. But I'll be sitting in front of my computer desk and not out in the afternoon. I really should get out more. Matter of fact, I should probably go. I think after I get done with this live stream, I might go to the gym and do some walking or something. Because for the military, the uh, cat, the, for the boot camp, they make you run. Run. Six miles. A six mile run. I could run a mile, but then I'll be dead afterwards. Six miles? Hell no. Swim though? I can swim six miles. I can swim. I can swim really well. Like really, really, really well. Um, well, you can make a penny from that time era a hell, worth a hell of a lot more than what it is, quote, because copper is very expensive to sell on the market, which is why pennies have a small copper coating, and the rest of it, I believe it's, it's zinc or something? But pennies are no longer copper pennies, because copper basically cost two cents whereas the penny cost one cent but at that time if you melt down the copper you can make the penny worth a hell of a lot more than what it actually is which is why it is illegal to melt down the old pennies people used to buy tons and tons of pennies and melt it down to the copper and sell the copper to make more money fun fact it was true too which is why copper is so useful and why pennies are pretty much freaking useless because they cost they cost two cents to make a penny and a penny costs one cent 
I, I mean, but now they cost a cent, maybe even less more, less than a cent to make. Excuse me. It's like relaxing early in the morning, and drinking. I already, I already read that. Ugh, I don't quite understand. But this place is just gorgeous. It's because it's night. It feels really calm, quiet place. I'm just listening to this through my headset, and, it, and I feel sound, and it sounds calm. It does. As if all my worries from earlier have been purged. Hello, destroyer. Hello. Oh, again. Hello. Oops, my bad. Oh boy, my throat's becoming parched again. Ah. Got about. Yeah, give it some time. Still, can't let my guard down. At this time of night, most of the shops here are already closed, so we should head straight to the inn. She she looks awfully tired too. Be trying to be considerate. Oh, Ratona's face change. Look at her face change. <laughs> I've under I underestimated him. So he's actually a nice kid. Oh, what a quaint little t inn. Or Bob, yes. Bob, Destroyer. I'll probably call you Destroyer or Bob. Either or will probably work. I don't know. If that works with you. Oh, what a quaint little inn. Let's head inside. Now that looks cool. Good evening. Oh. <clears throat> I don't... I can't do an old... Per I can do an old man's voice really well, but I can't do an old woman's voice. Oh, welcome. Hmm? I saw it clearly. Exception's sudden change of expression from a smile to a frown when she laid eyes on Soul. Close up. Don't worry. It's not me who's staying here. I'm just a guide. These girls will be your guests. I see. Good evening. Mind if I ask where you're from? Wow! Whoa! My, <laughs> what? I almost checked. I almost took my headset. I went to shake my head downwards. Like, wow! These people are really prejudiced. You're all from Barbacuy. Barvus. Barbacuy. Right? Uh, yes, that's right. We're here as prospectors. Although we arrived in town a little late, so we're looking for a place to stay. Prospectors? At your age? They've got entry permits, so if you don't believe me, Soul clearly telling me, go on and show her your permits. The three of us do as he says and present our permits. Hmm. These are the real deal. You got a permit yourself? Don't tell me you're going to be staying with them. <laughs> of course not. Like I said, I'm just a guide. Once they find a place to stay, I'll head straight back to the surface. Just what is this conversation? So, how long are you going to stay here? Hmm, we're not really sure yet. Oh, come on, then how am I going to know how many days to keep you booked? Did you at least think that about you? about that before you got me here it's nothing but trouble for me wow you are a crabby old bitch excuse me miss but we're customers here your attitude makes us think we're not the ones causing you problems do you not want our business I really didn't want to escalate things any further but she's just really got on my nerves you're not the only one whose nerves she's got on she's sitting here I know this is a computer generated program and all that but she's really pissing me off seriously you are one prejudiced bitch! Good God! I do not le believe in prejudices, prejudices eh, anyway. No. If you are, if you, well. That is true, Destroyer, and that is very real. That is very, very, very real of real life. Uh, honey, could you take care of this instead? I'm done dealing with these people. Her shouting echoes through the inn as she vanishes into the interior. What just happened here? That's what I want to know. Good grief, that woman. Ah! Customers! Really, I'm sorry about that. How embarrassing. 
It's nothing, we just had a little disagreement. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But we're just exhausted from our long journey. I told her you had every right to say what you did. <laughs> Stelphine! <laughs> I love that face she makes. I love that face Stelphine makes. <laughs> no, she had no right to talk to you the way she did. I'll give her a good talking to later. You said you're prospectors, right? I swear. Talking to you that way could... When you could be joining us as fellow residents, I do apologize on her behalf. Ah, thank goodness. This man is much easier in person to deal with. Yeah, until you realize that he's also a colossal asshole. We're not looking for any trouble. We ju just a place to stay. Is that so? How long do you plan to stay? Hmm. Are you a whiskey? Yeah. Tour guide? Yeah. That's so. Thank you for your service. I'll take care of them from here on. The innkeeper motions, showing him away like one of those stray dogs. What? Told you! Because this, this disparity between the gentle tone of his voice and his attitude. I only noticed what he meant a little too late. Visky. Hang on, is that a... Noteworthy term. I feel like there's a reason why... Nope, nothing. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, hey. Hey. Whoa, wrong way. Wait, this way. Here we go. What? Okay, yada yada yada. Okay, Visky. Sorry. I could have... Sorry, could I have just a second? I haven't been paid for, for my services yet. Eh? So are you leaving already? Take a look at Ratona. Ratona looks pissed. Oh, training. Ah. Yes, yes. I'll. Oh, dang it. Okay, RKR. I'll join you guys later. I'll let me finish this and then I'll. I'll uh. Yada 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 yada. Okay, let me finish this. We'll get past this part and then I'll end it. What? What? What's happening? Oh yeah, Rune doesn't understand a hell of what we're saying. Looks that way. No way. Okay, how about tomorrow? Can you guide us around town tomorrow too? Of course, we'll pay you right now too for today's work. J j just a moment here. Don't tell me you're just kicking this boy out. Hmm? He isn't a guest, is he? If not, he doesn't have a right, any right to stay here. Oh, you bitch! You're no better than that woman. She doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's used to it. Tuffling's like, really? And Ratona's like, say another word, I'm gonna take my sword and kill you. I would have lost this sh I would I would have lost my shit by now. But yeah, but Ratona does not look happy at all. That face is just a woo hoo Remember, she's killed people. She's slaughtered entire villages. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you have to watch the first live stream at the beginning of that one. Because reasons. This is just outrageous. But he's got an entry permit and everything. He can at least stay in the room while we're renting. Miss, that's a bit of a problem. I thought you didn't want to cause any trouble. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. You piece of shit. Just forget it. Nope. I'm going to swear this guy out on every chance I get. You good for nothing, prejudice ass ho! Yeah, you would have started a fist fight if I were Rotina here. I would have taken my sword and sliced his arm in two, saying, "It's saying, I don't know what I said. I would be so I, I just, just, just wow, wow. I mean, I kind of could, you could kind of tell because they had guards next to the gate, but wow." You people are some of the worst scum on earth. Then again, there are people who feel prejudice in our world. But still, I see someone like this in real life. I just want to wring their neck. But just, just, wow. Wow. That sentence, though. I thought you didn't want to cause any. Wow. You are a piece of shit, you. I won't say anything more. Please just pay the boy and have him leave. 
help me the end of that. As prospectors, you need to understand at least this much. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm used to it already. This is just how things are in Neo Sanctuary. It's common sense. You... You... You don't have any right to talk about common sense, Visky. Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> wow! Wow! I'm gonna reach my hands through this screen and wring your neck! Wow! Whoa, wow! That's a bit too far now, good sir. Good sir, no, you piece of shit. That's just way too far. Yeah, Rat Ratona's had enough of his shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Man. Man, oh man, oh man, you people are some dicks. In my words, okay, Destroyer, I'm gonna borrow some of your words. He's a motherfucking shit faced asshat. Oh, I forgot faggot. Yes, you did forget faggot. That's what he is. <laughs> wow, you. Are you kidding me? At this point, language is fine when you're talking about this guy. Just, just, wow. Come on, you get the picture. Collect your money and get the hell out of here. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Otherwise, I'll have to call the guards to throw you out. Wow! Am I really hearing this? Did the owner just really say all that? You said you still need a court. Uh, you said you still need a tour guide for tomorrow, right? You can just pay me tomorrow instead. I'll just head on home for now. No, you will get what you deserve. I give him twice the amount he asked. I haven't the slightest idea what's going on, but I'm paying you for your service tomorrow in advance. I'll trust you honor our agreement. Miss. Thank you. I'll definitely come back tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow. Ah, Soul really is going home. What's going on here? I'm completely lost. Now, poor Rune here doesn't understand the language. Everyone seems really mad, too. Here's your room. Room looks nice, but the place is run by a piece of shit faggot. If you need anything, please activate the man's signature by the bed. If the man in line straight, it's the man in line straight to the receptionist. Thank you, Sylphine. Rune, could you wait outside? Eh? eh uh, sure. Okay. Excuse me. Can I have a word? Hmm. What is it? Although we're Saracens from Barbacuis, so why we don't know a thing about this camp? It sure looks like it. So, why treat Sol? No, that guy. Why the callous treatment? Could you explain what brought that about? I'd like to know the details and gain some insight into this. Hmm. Unlike his wife, the owner expression doesn't change much. I can't tell what he's thinking by his just look on his face. Okay then. Well, you called him a Visky, right? What do you mean by that? Hmm? Visky you means someone from Viscant. <laughs> Is it normal to call Viscants Viskies? There's no need to call them Viscantians. Visky is plenty good for the likes of them. Oh! Ratona, how the hell are you keeping your calm? Then again, if I were in her place, I probably could keep my calm until I'm alone, and at that point, I would lose it. I can keep a calm head, but I'm reacting to this because I'm doing a live stream at the moment. So, and you guys want reactions, because I know reactions are great. Hey, whoops. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I want to punch you so badly right now! Ah, I understand. Thanks, and sorry for your time. My pleasure. Enjoy your stay. 
Ratona, are you calm? I get it now. Visky. It's a slur. Ratona? What was all that about? Why did Soul just get thrown out like that? Okay, that should fix it now. Okay. That should fix it now. Okay, can I get fault up now, please? Thank you. Come on. I know you do fault. Come on. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. We're fixed. Sorry about that, people. Ouch. Wow, that thumbs, that thumbs down. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sorry, I am completely sorry about that, people. Truly am. Why it does that, I have no idea. Why it... it it's very annoying. OBS does that every once in a while. It will stop connecting. What time have we got? Okay. Well, let's continue. I knew it. From the guard station outside, and the way this town isolates itself, something had to be up. Ratona. Rune. Why would Sol intentionally bring us here to a place where he's discriminated against? Hmm. Maybe it's because I asked him for a safe place to stay. But wouldn't he hate coming here, even if it was for work? Especially for us. We didn't know anything about this town, so he could have just brought us someplace else and we wouldn't have known. Now that you mention it, Sol is rather different, isn't he? But he can't be a bad kid. I just know it. Not bad, no. Yeah, a lot of shit's gonna happen. But you can just tell what's going on in his head. He seems to be worried about something the entire time. Oh? Worried? Who, Soul? Yeah. It didn't seem like that to me. It's like he was there physically, but not emotionally. As if he was gui guiding us around begrudgingly. Unbelievable. Did he sh show any signs of that? Um, any game? That's an easy one. I'm already crazy. So that's an easy one. I am crazy. I'm already crazy as hell. As far as I could tell, he was happy to show us around. Oh my god, did someone fool Ritona? Well, that's interesting. Remember when you were being mean to him? It didn't bother him at all. Oh. It's like he didn't care. To me, it looked like he just wanted to get it over with and go home. I wonder. Maybe, maybe his being alone was a lie. Maybe he isn't completely alone. There has to be someone else. Someone to depending on him. During dinner, he wasn't with us the whole time, right? I think he was with that other person. Sally. That's amazing. All I saw was an energetic young boy. Well, let's put the topic of soul aside for a moment. There's no point in speculating when we don't even have a clear grasp of our own situation. Don't forget, our main ad World of Warships is sore. World of Warships is so much better than World of Tanks. Don't forget, our main objective is to return to Rosenhide as quickly as possible. Soul is quite the mystery himself, but we can't forget our primary goal. You're right. We're still a long ways from home. Let's focus on our plans for tomorrow. Any objections, Rune? Eh? No. I'm totally okay with that. You, Selphine? None here. It didn't seem like Sol was in any danger either. Good. Let's start with tomorrow's entrance. Yeah. Whether or not we meet up with Sol, first thing we need to do tomorrow morning is to produce is the is to pro pro Ha <sighs> I hate not being able to say words, and I know the word, I just can't say it, and it's really pissing me off! Uh, pro, pro
P-R-O-C-U-R-E. I can't say a damn word! God damn it! <sighs> Tomorrow morning, we need to get some sediment stones. I'll just put it in layman terms. Ah, that's right. I totally forgot about it. Um, if you don't mind me asking, Ratona. You were also looking for sediment back in Katia. What do you need it for? I know it I know it'd be for mana craft at least. I need to have More fun than hard. Hmm. I always like a good challenge. That's why I took up YouTube. <laughs> I need to have a line of communication communication between Selfine and me. On the off chance we ever get separated, the most important thing is to stay in touch. Do you mean we can't use mana craft without sediment stones? Oh wait, but I remember you used it back in the tavern, didn't you? I personally don't have an issue using mana craft, but I do. Comcraft allows us to have an almost permanent communication mana line with each other using our own mana. It would be easy if it were between another crafter and me since I just used my mana. But royalty? We're not allowed to use our mana for mana craft. Um, destroyer? That would be a big whopping zero. I get paid zero money a month. I don't get paid because I don't have one. I don't have fan funding. Two, I don't have ads. I've tried getting ads. I can't get on ads, so I t get in zero, exactly zero a month. So at the moment, it's just basically a hobby. I'm a, I I'm, I do other work for money. All the mana crafts I perform is fueled by R Ratona giving me some of hers. Eh? Why go through all the trouble? They say your lifespan is shortened every time you use mana. Oh no! That's that's horrible. Oh well. Living as long as possible is necessary for royalty. I just realized something. Because of that, Miss Selfine here will live longer than her lifelong childhood friend Ratona, if that's the case. Wow, that sucks. My profession? Um, I'm a high school. I go to high school. <laughs> That's my profession. I go to high school. Yep, I go to high school. Then after that, is off to the... What game do I like most? Fault. It has to be Fault. I love this game. I can't get enough. And I know I should stop. I know I need to stop so I can do other things. But this game just has me dragged in. You know what? I will be... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue even though I'm supposed to show up for a line battle in Mountain Blade Regiment I'm gonna go a wall I'm going a wall and we are going to continue this live stream because I am so excited I want to know what happens next oh I'm so excited I haven't been live streaming for so long a lot, lot younger I'm 17 so why my voice sounds like a my voice sounds like a high pitch 12 year old but, um, yeah, this, since this is the first live stream back from my break, this is gonna be a special long live stream! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. A special long live stream. Because, you know what? You guys first. You guys are going first. You guys first. Shall we continue? Living as long as possible is necessary for royalty. So, as a rule, they should avoid using mana when it's not needed. Also, to help prevent any accidents. Like episodes of Emperor Syndrome occurring. <laughs> oh, we remember that one. If royalty were to use mana craft, the past down would become unstable. Basically, they told me not to ag to ag uh, They'll mean not to aggressive. Uh, God darn it, mouth! Work, 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 work. Destroyer, be quiet. Not to be aggressive it, any. Uh, not to be aggressive it. Uh, agitated any more than I had to. So that's why I can only use mana craft that doesn't need me to expand my mana. Things like Mind Drive, where I just read other person, where I read the other person's mana. Sound. This sounds awfully complicated. It does, but it's really quite simple. Right now, self shouldn't use any mana craft when I'm not around. So, opening a com link, a com craft line without sediment would be too dangerous. That's the gist of it. 
Oh, I see. Getting separated would be a huge hassle then. And it's not like we can just set a meeting place whenever we want to either. Oh yes, Rune, can you use mana craft? Not at all. Well, I can't use mana craft, but if you need to get in touch, then I can use this transceiver. I always have it with me at all times. Right, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, Destora, I did activate the- I did activate those ads, but no ads pop up on my video. Yeah, I, I am- I am eligible for monetize, but I don't- I don't have any ads on my videos. And I do not know how to get them. It's good to know. Hmm. Transceiver? It's something Rudu gave me. The two devices have something like a calm craft mana line between them that lets you talk to each other. Wow, that kind of stuff exists? Yeah, it's called a cell phone, or in their case, a walkie-talkie. That's on the... Yeah, you guys don't get ads. I hate ads, so... I probably won't get ads and probably be like fan funding or something, I don't know. But you don't get like fan funding till you reach like... A hundred, or was it a hundred or a thousand subscribers? It was something like one zero zero. It had a bunch of zeros on it, so... Next on the agenda, we need to plan out a route for going back home. I'd really like a map of the shortest route possible. Just looking at this map isn't going to be much help. The real map we got from Kadia is missing far too much information. Looks like we have no choice but to fill in the blanks with local maps for each country we travel to. I wonder if there's someone here who's more knowledgeable about that. The best place to look would be the tavern. You know, they could make this into a good movie. They could make this into a good movie. Although it probably... Then again... A G game. More than 28 subs then. Best <laughs> place for a tavern. Yep, still at 72 subs. That's fine by me. Alright. Alright, Destroyer. Well, thanks for stopping by. See ya. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Grind Kuma. Oh, I actually enjoyed the Kuma. I actually enjoyed the Kuma very well. Anyways, should we check it out during the day? Worst comes to worst, we may have to stay in Cerisee till late tomorrow. I can't say for sure. I'm totally clueless about this place. For starters, does Neo Cerisee even have a tavern? I would think a city would have at least one pub. Good point. I remember hearing people talk about a tavern. It was up on the surface near the restaurant we ate. Sound like they just came from one. Did they? Well then. Err. I... My head. Um, Rat Rat Ratona, are you okay? Ratona? I began to sweat profusely. As if my body is enveloped in ice. <laughs> and suddenly it returns to normal. Ratona! Ratona! Are you alright? You look really pale. Damn it. What just happened? It's disturbing how I didn't even feel any body pain. As if my body was stabbed with a knife. But I was numb and I lost all sense of pain. I'm fine. Really. This is how I feel when I get my migraines. When the barometric pressure change, or I get really bad migraines, I am knocked flat on my ass and I can't get out of bed no matter how hard I try. I can try and take Tylenol to ease the pain, but I am out for the day. I can't move. I can't get up. It's horrible. I mean, I can't move. I can't get up, but it's just, it's just miserable after miserable after miserable. Which is why I don't watch the weather channel, because whenever there's a barometric pressure change, I know there's a storm coming, I get a massive headache. Being hit by a sudden loss of control over my body, it was almost like, like a seizure. Hey, Tona, let's just rest for now, okay? You, you really must be tired. Yes, I must be. We still have a long journey ahead of us, so you need to take care of yourself. You're right. After that seizure, my body is back to normal. My heart is beating a little faster than usual, but that's more out of surprise than anything. 
Ow. Go get some water. No, let me. I'll get it. F I'll get some for you. No, both of you stay here. I'll go get some for you. Silly, just be here for Rotona. Rotona, you and Sally just rest up for now. Rune. Thanks. Uh, hey, wait. I'll be right back. What about the language issue? Hmm. I think I should be able to get some for some from the reception. Water, water. Um, excuse me, I'd like a glass of water. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they can't understand each other. Ru ya... Ru ya nir son va... Vasa? Oh, no, I totally forgot. I can't understand what they're saying. Uh, um, I'd like a drink? I, uh, maybe I'll understand if I act it out. Uh, yes? Ah, <laughs> poor, poor rune. Poor rune. I'm back. Here's the water. Thanks for- wait, what's the matter? <laughs> no, it's just that- I'll go cool off outside. What happened with her? She needs to cool off? I knew she'd have language issues. <laughs> what the? Bzz, bzz, er, rune. What? Rune. Oh! Rudu! Come in, Rune. Brother. T terrible reception on my end here. I can barely hear you. Do you copy over? Brother. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? Are you crying? I see. You couldn't understand anything. You couldn't understand each other at all because of language issues. Exactly. And I don't want to keep asking Shelly and Ratona to translate for me either. I feel like such a dead weight for them. That's quite the problem, huh? Well, it made it even more difficult because of how you never think before you act. <laughs> You're going to be traveling to all sorts of countries. Isn't it common sense to think about how to deal with this language barrier? I, I was just so overcome with joy that I, <laughs> I never stopped to consider it. <laughs> well, don't panic. As we speak, members of the Lab 9 are analyzing the Aeronautum that Ratona and Selfine use. Won't be anytime soon, but you'll eventually be equipped with a similar function. What? Wh what? Wh what do you mean by that? Ask Albas for the details. He's the one in charge of analysis and development. Wait, what? Rune, can you hear me? Uh, Albas? Yes, I can hear your kind. Yes, I can hear your kind voice, loud and clear. Nothing like Rudu's. Well, excuse me. Oops, did I did he over here? <laughs> um, I do both sometimes. Sometimes both. And if I'm like recording something like a, I don't know, I might do some like videos on like um. This four of mine I might do recordings of because that's just live streaming that does doesn't seem to work. Anyways, about the development of that own oh, item. Oh yes. Um can I am I really going to be able to use it too? This is all happening so fast, I'm absolutely lost. <laughs> Actually we've been able to upgrade our system so we can remotely control your manaware. What? Is that even possible? Every sister is connected to the Zvite Enterprise with a special mana line in case of emergencies. This means we can transmit any information about your manaware directly to you. Does that mean I have a direct comcraft line inside me, like Selfine and Rotona? Yes. The principle is similar to the transceiver that you have with you right now. Science! Isn't it amazing? But wait, even if you could push new features directly into my manaware, it would need much more mana bandwidth than what we normally use for conversations, right? You're right. And aware pretty much makes up your core existence, so we need some allowance for safety reasons. That's why we've allocated roughly three to four times the normal bandwidth needed for your communication. So long as nothing... Ow, I gotta hang now. Nothing too extreme happens. We should have more than enough to spare. But that... Wouldn't that cost a huge amount of money? Hmm? Well, 
quite. <laughs> well, we have the official reason for Lab 9's conducting field tests on new technology. Russell, Russell. The truth is, Rudo wants to support you as much as he could for your journey. Before you left, he ordered your mana connections bandwidth to increase by quite a lot. Wow. Gotta take a drink. My brother did? Haha. <laughs> I couldn't think of any other reason. Brackley had a shutting match with the board of directors about it. Brother. Just. Just like always. I hope you cut him some slack. He still needs to work on his people skills. <laughs> he really does. You know, it feels as if we've already been apart for a year and a half. A year and a half? Huh? I wonder why. I know you just left earlier this morning, but I feel the same way. <laughs> well, all I know is I could depend on Rudu. AGAIN?! Okay, there we go. Fixed it. Hang on. Alrighty, never mind. That fixed it. Again, I swear to God, this thing. Alrighty. Well, with this... Hmm. Alrighty. Well, with this, with the, with, um, OBS being the way it is, I'm actually going to end the live stream here. Yeah, it's been two hours and 19 minutes, I'm going to end the live stream here. Anyways. Sorry about that. This is Too Tall saying thank you all for joining me on this live stream of Fault Milestone 2 Part 2. So this is Too Tall saying thank you. Stay safe. And have an awesome day.